But I want to make this one last video, I'll kind of bring you in on a little secret. Shh. Looks pretty gross when you're just looking at my mouth like that, huh? I'm bringing you on, on a little secret. And I'm gonna show you how I bring my reselling business on the road. Well, hey there folks and welcome back to the Pits of YouTube. I appreciate you being here. Now I am on the last week. I've been away for six months from my home base in the Southeast. I'm up in the Northeast. In fact, I'm going home tomorrow when I get back to my regular sources of inventory and thrift stores and garage sales and auction lots. And speaking of opportunity, rummage sale in the church today. I love these things, great prices. I found a cemetery out back. I got a little in trouble here. I started rummaging through the cemetery, digging up graves. I misunderstood my mistake. They informed me that the sale was actually inside on the things inside and not outside in the cemetery. I found all these people budging in front of me. All these people have no manners. They should know I was here like 27th but i should get it first dibs found these cool slot machines and they're only selling for three bucks i like to shake the machines whenever i find these things and sure enough the second one had some money it's only asking three dollars and maybe there's three dollars a change in there so i ended up bringing this home it works sells for about 25 all in on ebay then i find this chef melissa and doug hand puppet here and even brand new or used sells for about 20 to 25 bucks a little more in some cases it's been a while since i've given a puppet a colonoscopy but you know i'm going for it this guy needs it you should see what kind of food he's been cooking and i'm just doing my best to look out for him i found this this old stitch kit here this raggedy uh, and i thought this one's brand new and i looked it up and it is going to be about 20 to 25 bucks uh so look out for those stitch kits especially those vintage ones this is pure speculation ancient cook fire it's like a, a, a spiritualist herbalist very natural cookbook it's only like 50 cents i couldn't find any comps online for it but it's this cheap and again i, I think a lot of people may have interest in something like this and that's one thing that i absolutely love about being a reseller it's one of the favorite perks of the job is you can do it wherever you go no matter where you go in the us of a there's opportunity to make some money and put some cash in your pocket even if it's in your free time like me i'm actually six months the reason i've been away for six months is because i've been working on my other career and i've been doing this completely part-time where you go there's always garage sales and thrift stores and big box stores with clearance sections or there's flea markets found the downstairs of the church and a lot to to dig into here i found a replacement carafe for a dollar, an old Melita vintage replacement carafe. And replacement carafes actually do pretty good, especially for these old ones. People are having a tough time finding them, so they turn to eBay, and it sells for about 20 bucks online. Then I find vintage Tupperware, only 75 cents each for these. And this is classic, you know it when you see this stuff. There's identifying numbers, so you can look it up more accurately on eBay by typing those numbers on the bottom into, I think I can get like 14 to $15 for these. I'll, I'll find more Tupperware and probably lot them up with those. I found these old beer can openers, uh, a variety. I think I found about 10, they're only five cents a piece. So I, I think I paid about 50 cents for all of them. And I was shocked, you can sell these for like 15 to 20 bucks, uh, all in a lot. Then I find this, Walt Disney Company. I thought this was a Kendall, but I can't really find any any comps online. I'm not exactly sure what this is yet. So what do you do? You look at the butt and 1963 Mattel. And you know what? I think I have that exact tattoo on my butt as well. I'm bringing you on, on a little secret and I'm gonna show you how I bring my reselling business on the road. And this is my traveling office. This is everything I need to run my successful eBay business while on the road. All this stuff travels with me. I bring my roller machine and my labels, my computer, various size bubble envelopes and padded envelopes, various size envelopes, bubble wrap, a whole bunch, many different size of, of poly bags. And if I need more, I just order them and have them delivered to wherever I am. This paper stuff, I end up buying at estate sales and garage sales for, for packing paper. I ended up finding this Space Jam um, wrapping paper, 1996, originally unopened. And I'm gonna actually sell this because I was looking at Space Jam and it's actually really popular. There's random things, a lot of collectors out there for this Space Jam stuff and really high prices for some of it. So I think I might be able to sell this for 19 to, to, to 23, 24, 25 bucks. So, and there's my boxes. So uh, don't forget the tape, my scale, my scissors, all this stuff. This is what I travel with. I have some links 
below for the stuff that I use the most if you want to check that out. And this is the accumulation of the six months that I was up here. This is all merchandise. Some of it didn't even make it into being listed quite yet. So all this stuff has to go into the back of the truck that I'm taking to the southeast. So I need to make some room. So I went, I, I made a huge promotion this past weekend. I put a lot of stuff up for auction. I just needed to get rid of stuff. These actually sold within 48 hours of being returned. I had a customer return these as they didn't fit. It's already gone through the eBay authenticity guarantee. So no problems there. Didn't sell for a lot of money, but they're going. Glad to, to not have to bring this home. And this is a really small item. Just sold some, some old magic cards, which I actually play and collect. And these are just cards that don't have any value for me. So sold them for like 15, 16 bucks and happy to see them go as they have been sitting around for a long time. And I did a huge model haul. I'm going to link the video up here in the screen in a second, but I found a huge model haul. This is all that's left. I've been selling through the majority of them and check out video out. It was a really cool find. And over the last 24, 48 hours, a lot of auctions have ended. Some people bought some buy it now prices, but a lot of this stuff just sold at auction for a really good price. I actually sacrificed these and started the auctions really low because I knew I needed to, I had very limited room in the truck to go home. So this stuff just had to go. And I ended up selling about 75% of what I have left. So I'm really only bringing a box or so down. And, and this is, this is kind of what it looks like when I'm working away from home. This is, this is how the office is set up and let's just be thankful it wasn't raining, but this is how it looks. And, and this is one of the coolest things about reselling is that I bring this stuff wherever I go. And I use my, if you're wondering how I connect to the internet, I just use my hotspot on my phone to connect to my computer. Uh, so I can connect to eBay and, and print the labels off and everything. But um, it's so cool that you can do this uh, remotely, basically. I mean, what a time to be alive. How cool. Then I found this other sale. Uh, this was right next to, right next to actually where I'm, I've been living uh, the past six months. Not, not a huge room, actually a really small room. I found a couple things of this vintage Chanel, only 50 cents for this thing, which actually was kind of shocking. And you can see here, even used... It's selling for 30 to 35 bucks. I don't know how full it is, but even 30% full sold for over $30. Then I found this thing, this like uh, Fisker's cutter. I put the barcode in on Amazon. It sells for almost 18 bucks. I feed 50 cents. I'm going to make 10 plus dollars on this. And, and that's it for this video because I got to get south. It's a beautiful day. Thanks for hanging out. Have some fun. Get out there. Make your day beautiful. Mm -hmm.